The polymer polystyrene is better known for being the everyday product styrofoam. In simple terms, the construction of styrofoam is simply adding 95% air to the polymer to create the foam-like material. I will be proving why this polymer is not the right polymer for Villinovi to invest in. Villinovi is in search of a polymer that is easily constructed, cost-efficient, and recyclable. Polystyrene is not the polymer of choice because of the inability to recycle and store the polymer once it becomes waste. Since it's 95% air, its buoyancy allows it to float down channels, eventually making it to the ocean where it gets broken down into smaller pieces and consumed by marine life. It also ends up littering streets and beaches, clogging storm pipes and harming animals. The beautiful beaches, animals and marine life of Villanovi will be affected by this terrible polymer. Furthermore, styrofoam sitting in landfills releases methane gases that has over 20 times the ozone destroying potency as CO2. Polystyrene is made from the monomer styrene. Styrene is found naturally in plants, fruits, vegetables, nuts, and meat. Polystyrene is a derivative of ethylene and benzene and made using a polymerization process which produces translucent spherical beads of polystyrene, about the size of sugar granules. During this process, a low boiling point hydrocarbon, usually pentane gas, is added to the material to assist exp expansion during subsequent processes. The London dispersion forces of benzene is what makes it what makes the styrofoam foamy. This polymer is made up in three steps. Pre-expansion is where the pre-foaming agent found within the polymerization beads starts to boil and beads are expanded between 40 to 50 times the original volume. Then the conditioning process occurs and the beads reach equilibrium temperatures and pressure. Finally, the beads are placed with a mold and again reheated with steam. The pre-foamed beads expand further, completely fill the mold cavity and fuse together. The beads are molded to form foam blocks and customized products. When molded, nearly all volumes of styrofoam is 98% air. Polystyrene is usually a homopolymer, meaning that it's composed only of one monomer, styrene, in combination with itself. Depending on the type of polystyrene, it could be classified as thermoplastic or thermoset material. Thermoplastic materials become fully liquid at their melting point, and thermoset plastics can only be heated once. Polystyrene is clear, non-polar thermoplastic. It is a very good electrical insulator and has excellent optical clarity due to the lack of crystallinity, and has good chemical resistance to diluted acids and bases. Polystyrene is not biodegradable plastic and resistant to photolysis. It is a major contributor to the debris in the ocean. The biggest problem is expanded polystyrene due to its low density, it takes up relatively large amounts of space in landfills. Polystyrene contains the toxic substance styrene and benzene, suspected carcinogens and neurotoxins that are hazardous to humans. Hot foods and liquids actually start a partial breakdown of the styrofoam, causing some toxins to be absorbed into our bloodstream and tissue. Polystyrene food containers leach the toxin styrene when they come into contact with warm food or drink. Littered polystyrene foam never fully degrades yet, absorbs other chemicals from the environment, which bioaccumulates up the food chain, affecting the fish, oysters, crabs, and may, con may consume them, resulting in potential harm to people. In styrofoam, atoms are bonded to one another strongly, making it very stable. Because of this stability, the plastic repels water and resists acids, bases, salts, and other corrosive substances. Styrofoam is commonly used in disposable products that are only used once. These products can persist in the environment for more than a million years. However, since polystyrene is not biodegradable, this is, bad. this is a bad thing for being on an island with minimal space. If polystyrene is produced, we have nowhere to store the waste. We will run into problems with space. Polystyrene usually can't be recycled locally, but has been transported to a centralized plant, increasing the cost to the recycler and reducing the insensitive to the recycle. Also, recycled polystyrene cannot be, in most cases, used for products that contact food because of health concerns, even though the material is usually sterilized by the recycling process. The recycle number is 6. Therefore, the polymer, polystyrene, should not be used on Villanovi because of the inability to be recycled, pollution it causes, and health concerns.